Hey, what is up, everyone? Hope everyone's doing well. It is December 16th of 2020. It's almost Christmas. Um, I got a new video. This, this um, game just came out um, about, I think, a day or two ago. It's a port of Diablo, a 1996 or 97 game that came out to the PC by Blizzard. Um, this introduced me to RPGs, and I fell in love with Diablo. And I played this first game nonstop on the PC back in the day. Um, another good thing is that 1997, uh, Blink-182's Dude Ranch came out and was released. And it's pretty much my favorite Blink-182 album they did. Um, but other than that, I'm going to show you how to install this game. Um, I also downloaded the full version game so you guys can have the file. Um, because when you get the when you download the VPK and install the game itself, it does not come with the data file that you need to actually play the game. So I took my I went out of the way and I actually found the um, the full game. And I'll leave a link down in the description below where you could download. We could download the file, so you can just drag and drop into the uh, folder, and you can play Diablo whenever you want. A great RPG game, and yeah. Other than that, stick around, and I'll show you what to do. from this website that that will be linked in the description below i'm just showing you a few screenshots of the video game diablo that came out back in 1996 or 1997 it's a great port great rpg it's it's one of my favorites um this web this link over here this website that i'm showing you guys right now um you could read up on the readme on how to drag and drop the file into the correct folder I did not change the the name of the file that you dropped. It's all in uppercase letters, and it works just fine. But just um, go back to this page if you can't really figure out where to drop the file. So at any rate, you want to download the VPK file, which I'm doing right now, as you can tell. I just downloaded. I want to minimize my screen. And as you guys know, I like to keep everything nice and neat. I'm going to drag and drop this VPK to the desktop. While we're in the file manager, I'm going to go to the Diablo folder because I installed the game, the full version game, last night. And uh, if you guys want, I'll link the full version game so you guys can play it on the PC if you'd like. So I just dragged and dropped the, the actual data file folder uh, onto the desktop. I actually copied it. And uh, now we're going to go to the PlayStation Vita, grab the FTP numbers, and come back to uh, FileZilla. All right, now we're at the PlayStation Vita side of things. What you want to do is you want to move downwards to where your Vita shell is. I'm going to load mine up right now. Give it, give it a few seconds. And right from here, you want to hit the select button. Um, you don't have to use the FTP if you don't want. You could use the USB, but I find the FTP easier for myself. So let's go to the computer. All right, now we're over to the PC side of things. Once again, we're going to enter in the FTP numbers that you got from the PlayStation Vita. And once you connect to the Vita server, internal server, you want to go down to the UX0 folder. And what I like to do is keep things nice and neat. I have a VPK folder, so I'm going to drag and drop the VPK file into that VPK folder. So that once that's transferred over, you're more than welcome to disconnect from the server or just go back to the PlayStation Vita. So I disconnected, let's head back over to the, to the PlayStation Vita. All right, once back over on the Vita, close out of the prompt message that tells you the FTP numbers because you don't need them anymore for right now. So what you want to do is go to the UX0 folder. You want to find your VPK file, install the program or the game, I should say. It takes 20, roughly 20 seconds. Um, afterwards, I delete the VPK files because I don't need them anymore. Um, you're more than welcome to keep them or delete them. I delete them just to free up a little bit of space. Now I'm going to show you that 
the folder that you need to place the data file into, it's not there when you install the game, as you can tell. So what you want to do, you want to back out, close Vita Shell. You want to actually load up the Diablo game itself. And you'll get an error message. Don't worry. Don't worry. You didn't F anything up. This is what it says. So after you close that, close out of the game itself. You want to go all the way back to your Vita shell. Load into it. Now you want to scroll down to the UX0. Now go to the data folder. And you can tell the folder that you're looking for is actually there now. Unfortunately, I don't know why the guy didn't write that in, in the README file saying that you got to boot up the game first. But there you go, guys. We're almost done, guys. What you want to do, you want to go back to the computer. You want to enter in the FTP numbers into whatever um, client you have to, to transfer files over. Now you want to go down to the UX0 folder. Go down to the data folder. Then you want to go down to the folder that you need to drag and drop the actual Diablo data file into as you can tell i'm doing it right now it's quite the big file it's going to take a good number of minutes let's say two to three and um, i'll catch you when when everything's done Back over to the P, uh, PlayStation Vita. You can close out of the little prompt there. My bad for not showing me connecting to the server on the Vita side of things before we transfer to the transfer it over the Diablo data file. So once that's been transferred over, boot up Diablo, close out of Vita shell, and enjoy. So how'd you guys like the intro? It sounds good. It sounds a lot better in person, and the picture quality is a lot better in person. But this is the Abel that came out and I fell in love with um, back in the day. This got me into RPGs, actually. The single game made by Blizzard. Um, I will say that the controls are backwards. The X and the O button. X is to cancel and O is to, to accept or to enter. Um, when you choose your guy, your class, you could use the left bumper or right bumper if you'd like. Totally up to you, or you could use the D-pad. Um, whatever is easier for you guys. Or, you know, 
So I'm just going to do a quick little run through of this and I'll shut up and end the video with me just farting around playing this game just of like a few five like five minutes worth nothing crazy so I'm just gonna enter my name Dave and we'll go from there I'm trying to use the touch screen the screen see if it's touch screened or not but I mean it shows the little mouse icon there the little finger but that's about it Unless you got to hold a button, then use the touch screen. I don't know. So, it does load quick, which is nice. You could use the touch screen to move your character around. Um, the left bumper is to use the little red um, potions that you see on the screen. And if I had blue ones, the right bumper would be used for the, for the uh, blue potions. You have to hold start and then up on the D-pad to enter one of the uh, the options. So you can use the the screen to move your character around if you'd like. It's something up to you. Or you can use the D-pad or the thumbsticks or joysticks, whatever you want to call it. If you, if you like, no leave a like. If you dislike, leave a dislike. And uh, I wish you guys happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.